Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome. I thought we'd have some easy fun today. Uh, just showing you a quick idea that is really cute to tuck into any junk journal if you want to make um, a nice little embellishment. So I grabbed this um, little envelope, which should fit very well in my junk journal. I'm just going to measure it for you in case you need to know. It's about five and a half by three and a half. And size can vary. It doesn't have to be exact or specific and there's a million and one things that we can do with envelopes so one thing i like to do when i go to thrift stores if i ever see envelopes like in a pack um collected from greeting cards sometimes they sell them in, in like st big stacks for next to nothing i grab them because they're so versatile and so useful you can do so many things they you can glue a fist down it can be a flap you can gl glue the back down you can fold them in half and make um little wrap around pockets or this way and in the middle of a signature and two different pockets i mean there's so many things so today is going to be a little collection of easy to make journal cards and um i don't normally do this but i'm just going to Use one of my digi kits as an example because <clears throat> it's just quick and easy to cut out. But you could technically use any pictures. You could draw your pictures. You could um, use stickers on some cardstock. Um, whatever you like. Maybe we'll we'll try that for example too. Um, okay. So uh, this is from Butterfly Number Two. It, I think it's the first page. Um, and I try and make these so they're relatively easy to cut out. I, I want you to get straight back to the fun part and not so much with the fussing. Less fuss, more fun. The whole idea so it's it's a you know it's in progress i'm always working on improving so um there we go let's just cut some of these out and you can leave white border if you want more of a white border uh if you want to ink the border or you want to write something on the border or stamp something on the border you could totally do that um let's see where am i these and it's uh you know we're coming close to may here now and you know, Mayflowers, they need their butterfly pollination going on. So I thought that'd be a, um, you know, let's get out of the winter doldrums. Out of the winter doldrums we go. Um, you know, I have uh, folks uh, commenting all the time. I've still got snow. Don't tell me about how nice it is in Florida right now. Okay. It's, it is nice in Florida. Sorry. <laughs> That's why I moved here. Um, but uh, the snow will melt. I remember that feeling in Canada. Please let the snow melt. Please let the snow melt. And it, it always did. So just have faith, stay strong. The summer will come and you'll be missing that cool breeze. Now there's a lot of different ways. You could just be done at this point and you could just take your cute little envelope. This one happens to have a gold lining. It doesn't have to have a gold lining, but it could. And, oh, that's too close. How about there? And uh, you could just tuck these in here as little elements that they could pull out and either glue in their junk journal or... Um, um, write on the back of them, little notes, stuff like that. But if you want to jazz them up a little bit, there's fun things that you can do. Let's play with some, maybe let's play with some gilding paste. Gilding wax, gilding paste. Um, you can, if you don't have gilt, you can use gold paint. That will also work. Um, gold um, makeup will also work if you don't have that. So dig around, see what you got. I've got some different golding gilding, gilding, gilding does not have a U in it. This kind of gilding is G-I-L-D wax gilding paste um there's coppers all sorts of fun things this company doesn't make them anymore i love this companies but oh well we had to move on to other companies and um this is one you can find easily online it's called pent art waste waste wax paste not not waste packs um and uh, there's some other ones that are not so good I, I found these and they dry they're really dry i don't know i don't even know maybe you have to soften them with oil or something but it's like a it's like a rock chalk thing i don't know not my, my favorite so and then there's these good old things if you remember these rub and buff these have been around forever maybe we'll try that i don't know what it looks like anymore i don't i rarely use these probably all separated on the inside let's see oh not bad not bad um so you might remember those from you can probably find that in walmart or home home depot or probably online looking for a little spongy thing where'd my little spongy thing okay you can use makeup brushes to do it if you'd rather okay so let's just have some fun here i'll give you some experiments and you can show okay so this is traditional gilding wax gilding paste and you can also use let's try using a q-tip maybe that's something everybody can access because oh, you got to get in there you know what i mean get to get in there you can use your finger too but that's it, not recommended um I don't know. I usually, I, I do use my finger a lot, honestly. So we're going to try this and do it the right way. And then I'm going to come in. You can use a gloved finger. That would be probably the best, but oh, it's like, so. oh, I'm just using my finger. Okay. Just going, I, it's, it's wax. 
Okay, it's wax. Probably some kind of toxic wax. Probably shouldn't be doing this. Don't copy me. Um, I can use my finger. I can't stand this. Um, <laughs> I know. Bad crafter. Bad crafter. All right. And then just go around the edges and gild, gild your lily. <laughs> uh, there. So then you're going to get something that looks like that. And that's kind of pretty. Now that won't necessarily pop against the gold background, but oh, it does unify with the gold. So there we go. We got something with that. You can even gild your envelope. Why not? We're here. We've got gilding wax on our fingers. Let's just keep gilding. Gild. Gilding with the best of them. Doesn't work really well with the long nails. And the gilding wax kind of gets under the finger. Okay, probably should use a rubber glove, like a little latex glove or something like that. If it doesn't bother your skin. Gotta pick what bothers you. Okay, I shouldn't sing because YouTube will get all upset. I'll sound like some copyrighted song or something. No, okay, I won't, but I, it could happen. Okay. <laughs> all right, here we go. Yeah, just, and it gives a little bit of, oh, I got like gilding wax all over the place here. Can I get it on there? And um, do I have another piece somewhere? Just need a little bit. I'm sure I threw some on the table here. I always do. Okay, and it's just, this one smells like orange essential oil, which I love, and it smells so good. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's pretty, right? Okay, now it would be really nice. We were all organized and had a baby wipe or a wet washcloth or a wet um, paper towel, something, so that you can clean your fingers in between little projects, which is awesome, awesome. So let's, let's do something a different way that we're gonna, you know, decorate one of these. You could do them all with the gilding and that would be really cute. But maybe you don't have gilding and you wanna try something else. Oh, you did you wanna see what the, the rub and buff looks like? I can show you real quick. We'll try one of these. Okay, that's kinda of dry at that end already. It, 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 it. This is more creamy um, than waxy and it still does a very decent job of gilding. There's nothing wrong with a good rub and buff gild. I mean, this stuff has been around for a hundred million years. I don't know what's made of, probably, again, highly toxic. But um, it's used for, um, like, highlighting little bits on furniture. You can, use, you can use it for whatever you want, but it'll get you a good guild. You know, nothing wrong with that guild. So it's probably easier to find than the other stuff if you're having trouble finding gilding stuff. And you can probably find it in the local stores if they still sell it. I think, I think they do. It's kind of like one of those staple items. Okay, so that is the example with that. Does not smell so good. Kind of stinky. Stinky. Yeah. Kind of chemically stinky. Don't, not really liking the smell of that one. Okay. Was this one? Just another one. Is this like this? I, I totally overpaid for this thing. I thought like, oh, this is going to be the magic. I would, oh, it's very moose-like. Moose-like. Very moose-like. What is it? You want to see? Gilding Wax by Pebio. Pebio. Gade is probably gild. Um, I don't know. Here's all the information. Probably highly toxic, flammable, all that stuff. Okay, so let's try this butterfly. See how far I get. It's a pretty gild. I would say it's not a better gild. This one I do remember was like ridiculously expensive. You don't need to spend that much. And, oh, no, not that. It could be a little too moosey. You know what I mean? You know when you're too moosey? It's not a good day. No. You have to have... I, I like the waxy feel. It's It's... This is like mousse. It's, it's just like working with mousse, but it's very shiny. I gotta give it that, it's very shiny. Is the other one as shiny? I think it is. We'll compare shine. Okay, comparing shine. I mean, this one seems a little shinier or may, maybe I have more on it, but this one has a fair shot of shine. Oh, and then the old, uh, okay, let's compare to rub and buff. Rub and buff. A little, rub and buff's a little flatter but it's still gilded gold, but not as shiny. So if you want super shine, I guess you got to go to um, one of the other two at least. Oh, don't get that. Yep, she did. Okay, yeah, look at this. It's just like a monkey made this, right? Stuff all over the place. Oh, my God, that's good. good. Fingers everywhere. But that's half the fun. I don't know. Um, yes, we could stay cleaner. I, I, and we don't um, because we like to make mud pies and... I don't know. I think there's deep fun to be had. You have to get in the mud to make the mud pie. There's no other way around it. You want to stay clean? You can be one of those cleany crafters, but you ain't making mud pies with this girl. Okay. I don't know what any of this is. I'll just rub it. Okay. And it does dry in place. I mean, you, uh, when it's dry. 
I don't know. I just, I just think it's kind of cool. All right, so you get very carefully pick that up and hope to goodness that you place it down in the right spot and get the cap on and back away slowly before you create an entire mess. I apparently dropped it at one point. Yep. There you go. Okay. I don't even have enough water. Let me re-moisten my, my baby wipe. It's failing me. I think the stuff does come off in the, in the, like with water and soap. The soap will dissolve it because it's a oil based. Like dissolves like, oil dissolves oil. And like at, like uh, alcohol and acetone dissolve like stuff that's supposed to be permanent, like um, stays on ink and stuff like that, or pretty much I think it does. Um, and then you've got good old water for distress inks. There we go, not bad. Not bad at all, she said. Okay, so what are we gonna do with these others? Well, we're gonna pull out the old traditional. We're gonna use vintage photo and peeled paint with our old classic daubers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll just, we'll just, okay, so this has some blue and, and green. I just think it's pretty. So let's ink it up. This is Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. And you can put different things together. There's no rules in a little envelope. They can be all different. Um, gilded different. Some are inked. Some are, um, I don't know what else we're going to do. You just wait. You got to wait and see. Gotta wait and see. Okay, I like this. I think this is a very nice look. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I think it's pretty. I'll show it to you on here so you can get the full idea of the impact. And you could even glue that on there. Wouldn't that be cute? Or maybe on here. Oh, that would be so cute. Let's just do it. I'm just so inspired by that. I just want to do it right now. Where's my glue? I'm going to use the old Fabrifix. You could use anything here. It doesn't matter, but I'm just going to stick her down. And I was going to glue the back onto a page, but now I'm thinking I'm going to use an altered paper clip and make this a removable because I'm going to have a pretty on the back. Yep. So when you get inspired or, or called to or drawn to something, just do it. Do it. Don't, like, don't hold back. Just do it because you'll wonder what it would have been. I really like that. I really like that. I think that's really pretty. Okay, just do it. Okay, so we have a few more we can play with. Well, that went in faster than I had planned. Okay, so let's just grab another one. How about this guy? He's got some blue and green on it. So my original intent with these, the second one is peeled paint green, distressing. That's brown. Okay. Gonna go around and do this the same. Now I don't have one of these in the envelope because this one is gonna be in the envelope. And I'm just gonna do like corner edging just to make it look a little older. Not all the way around, just this is like just enhancing, um, grunging making it look vintage. All right, there. Okay, I like that. It's very nice. And um, I feel compelled to put a word on here. I don't know why I'm, I'm coming in with a word. I'm coming in hot with a word. What should I put? Um, oh, I know. Um, do I? I don't know, I'm changing my mind 10 times over. Okay, um, how about, you could rubber stamp something here, but I'm just gonna write it. Fly free. How about that? There you go. Just something simple. You could write whatever you like. Um, it was just something fun uh, to give you different ideas. Okay, so we did that one. And, um, you know, life would not be, you know, what it is around here if we didn't sew something. We could sew one of these just so you can get an idea of what that might look like. These are just simple, goofy ideas, fun things that you can do with a piece of paper in an afternoon. Life. Life can be simple, easy. I have no thread on my machine. Are you kidding me? Come here. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is where I get afraid. I have to pause the video. Hold on. Okay, I have in the process of threading my machine. Okay, pretty easy at this point, she said fearfully. Okay, I get in there. Don't have my glasses on. Oh, but the thread's not too bad. This is a Brother Project Runway machine, if anybody's wondering. I got it at Walmart. Nothing fancy, but good little workhorse for paper. Boy, you guys are close. Let me back you up a little bit. Okay. All right. Now I'm, go I'm coming in with this guy. I'm just going to sew around. And I'm going to do it. Oh, turn it on. And I'm going to 
do a zigzag stitch. Okay. All right. And I'm just going around the white border. It can come off the white border a little bit. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. I'm the world's worst sewer, so if I can do this, you can do this. Don't be afraid. It's only a tool. And YouTube will help you figure out your model, your machine, and it can really add a lot of dimension and depth and texture to your junk journal. And honestly, once you get past how to thread the bobbin, the rest is not that hard. And it's not that hard to thread the bobbin. It's just I'm an idiot. Um, so I need to watch 17 videos on how to thread the bobbin with my model of machine. And I'm like, oh, that's not so bad. Why was I so petrified of using a sewing machine? It's just a tool. It's just like your blender, your toaster your, you know, whatever you got in there, all that goofy stuff you bought you thought you had to have. Um, yeah. Dust off. If you have one, dust it off. If you don't have one, go down to the Goodwill and buy one for about 20 bucks. Borrow your sister's. Um, I don't know if this is going to ruin your expensive quilting machines. Don't take my word for it. I am not a quilter, but um, I have been told that, well, I guess it just depends how much paper you're going through, but going through paper, I was told by a seamstress, again, anecdotally, is easier on the machine than going through fabric, but I guess it all depends how thick everything is. But don't listen to anything I say about your machines because I, I really don't know. But all I know is it's a lot of fun to get something like that. And then they can write on the back. It looks pretty. I had white in the bobbin because I forgot to change it, but it, it's fine. And um, yeah, and you could even draw little lines on here if you want to draw. Okay, we'll draw some lines because sometimes you want to get a little creative and sassy and, and show them that you were thinking things. It's not all about, um, just, you know, maybe they don't know they can write on it or that's a possibility. So you're going to show them intent and you're going to say, hey, hey, and these lines don't not, do not have to be, I like them staggered, actually. I think they look more um, unique, more artistic, more um, inviting. I don't know. And they don't have to be the same distance apart. You can, well, it would be nice if I showed you. Uh, they can be different distances apart. They can be exact. You can rubber stamp your lines. You can use elastic bands on a two by four piece of block and, and do it that way. But sometimes just drawing them is the easiest thing. It's not that hard. And you still get the job done. And if you want to leave a little space at the bottom, you can do that. Um, and if you're really like sassy pants, cute, cute, you can, you can put a little stamp at the top. Um, Maybe I'll just do it in green because I have green here. Um, this is the same peeled paint green as I did the other one. Okay, looking, that's not the bottom. See, this is supposed to line up with the bottom. I don't know, is that the bottom? Maybe, maybe it is, but you could just put it any way you want. And just, but look at the design, not the picture. Look at the design to see where you want it. Let's we'll see how that works. Okay, not bad. Um, maybe I'll put one at the bottom. I'm just feeling all sassy pants today okay maybe I'll, I'll rotate it and do it the other way look at this girl go wow there we go all right so now you got that that's really cute right that looks fancy scroll like victorian and we're rocking with not much stuff which is awesome um okay so and who doesn't need a few butterfly cards every once in a while i know i do i am in need of butterfly cards. Okay, so another thing you could do, let's go in a little closer. Oh, that's very close. You could faux, you could faux your way out of here. All right, you don't always have to have sewing machine, rubber stamps. Sometimes all you need is a little, what is this? A Faber-Castell artist pen in S. I think that's small. So you get like a little nib. Okay, and you can just faux stitch. Um, uh, faux stitch might look like maybe some X's. Faux stitching you can do many different ways, but this is how we're doing it today. Some X's and maybe just some, just some lines. Indicating the little stitches. Nothing hard, nothing complicated, but it looks cute. Gives it a little flair. None of this is necessary. You don't need to do any of this. I'm just showing you options. Um, maybe you just feel like goofing around having fun. Sometimes it's not about the finished product. It's about the journey you're having en route. And today, that's what it is. We are journeying with the butterfly number two digikit pictures. Um, but you can do whatever you want. Okay, maybe I want to amplify these butterflies. Maybe I want them to pop more. I can do that. I'm, good to, I'm just going to do like what I call raw outline. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Mm. Okay. Just basic raw outline, nothing nothing fancy. Overlaying. Do 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 do. There. Just that. No, no, nothing more. No, I'm not doing anything more. Am I? Oh, she's gonna do something. Dag nab it. There she goes. Ruining the plan right in front of her eyes. I think I want a little black something. Like one of these. You can buy I bought mine at Walmart, I think. Um, a while ago. These are like flat back plastic rhinestone thingies. Um, where do I want to put it? Maybe here? Okay, I'm just putting a little dab of glue because I don't trust the glue on here. Um, probably the flatter back the better. Let's use a bigger one. And I'm just going to stick it down because I had a horrible... Oh, there we go. Now, to me that just made all the difference. I don't know. It was just fun. I enjoyed doing it. And we are done. Okay, so, where are we at? Okay, uh, we have, what, we have like three more we can do. Okay, look, just examples of different things that you can do. Where is my goofy pair of scissors? I have about a thousand of these in all different kinds, and I grab this one all the time. This is, I think, a decal edge. Um, so if you're going to buy a pile of these, let's just say, you probably don't need a pile of these, but you're going to have to get a pile to find out which one you really love, and then you're going to know. And then maybe you'll share those with others that you have. Or you may just hang on to them because, you know, maybe one day you're going to need that Victorian scallop. You know what I mean? You're just going to need it. And you'll be like, oh, thank goodness I didn't throw those away. Now, where, where are they? Because I can't find them because I haven't played with them in four years. Um, yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> now, if you have an extra white tail over here, um, these are actually fun to turn into, uh, well, I won't go there. Stay focused. Um, you could fold this and make this a flap so it would open on a page. You could totally do that. Maybe we'll do that. That would look nice. Let me, let me ink it first or some kind of, what else have I got? How about a gelato? Let's grab a gelato and just have a little gelato fun. Da 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 Oh, she's singing again. Da 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 Okay, where are the gelato? Pens? No. Watercolor, no. Gee, no. Markers, no. Ink pads, no. Gold, silver, no. How, how, dyes, Q-tips, what are you, you have no label. It, embossing stickers, clips, buttons, brads, safety pins, paper clips, string, silver, take it to path. Nope, nope, we, apparently, the gelatos have left the building. They've left, I don't know where they are, they're, they're, they're gone. Okay, so we're gonna bring up something else. Um, what are you? I haven't played with you in ever. Okay, so let's, let's see something like this. Okay, here is a, gosh, wrong color. Um, blue? I don't know, is this going to work? Maybe. It's a, what is it? Looks like Jane Davenport. Okay, Jane, you dried out on me. Let me see if you're going to work. Okay. Can I find a piece of paper at the paper outpost? Rarely. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Here's something. Oh, it works. It does work. Okay. Way to go, Jane. All right. This is a Jane. Whoop. This is a Jane Davenport. And what do I want to call this? Pacific Ocean m Glitter Marker. I'm going to call it that. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get some. Let me go closer. So you can see the it's not working really well. Was it, was, no. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't, I shouldn't draw right on here, but I am. Now I'm going to have to mop up. Jane would be abhorred at what I'm doing, I'm sure. But do I have a little edge? It's kind of pretty. All right. You could probably, again, use makeup or other markers or whatever you have for color. I'm just trying to show you different things you can use for color. So here is a glitter marker. And this is the result with glitter marker. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to outline this just to give it a little punch to show you can do other things. Yeah. You have options. Always have options. More options than you could ever imagine. 
And that's a good thing. That's a good day in the craft room. Okay, there we go. Now we have a little picture frame. I like that. I think it's just pretty as it is. Okay, so we'll move you over there. And what are we going to do now? Do Okay, I have two left, but maybe I'm just going to leave these as is, but I want to show you the ones that we did so we can just do a little flashback. Let me back up a little bit. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, this is, this is dandy. Okay, so what do we have? We have the gilded, the gilded cage corral. Uh, we have the brownie and the greenie. Um, we have the sewn element. And we have the faux stitching. And then we have the Jane Davenport coming in for completion uh, with a marker. And you, like I said, you could also use um, gelatos and a million other things that I just didn't think of at the moment. But um, hang on. Oh, I can't get sunshine. You know why? Because he's getting his hair cut right now. I totally forgot. I was going to get ready for his little, his little pup date, but he's not in the building. He's over. Yep, it's true. Okay, so this little story from mom here, Sunny. Uh, we went for a walk this morning, and his little paws got so dirty. He's like, he has like long hair right now, so he's picking up everything outside. He has like a little dust mop, and um, so it's time. He's getting all scrubbed and buffed, and he'll be all so happy to see you guys on the next video. But um, he sends his regards, and um, he'll be full of pup dates, I'm sure, from the hair washing and trimming grooming experience. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it there. Um, okay, so let's complete this. We have our little envelope that we have decorated. And now we can just tuck these babies in here. Now remember, you can if they're too tall, you can put them sideways. Or you can trim them down. Or you can put them on an angle. Or you can have them float up here, which is cute, uh, to get the color. Oh, these are pretty. I, I just really like this. I just think this is such a neat little thing to find in a junk journal. Um, oh, this little collection of beautiful, beautiful journal cards. A variety pack. You just never know what you're going to find. And um, there we go. How fun is that? All right, good. So we have a whole bunch of these, and you can arrange them so they show and everything with it. That's so cute, right? So Okay, let's put it in a junk journal. Let me grab a um, altered paper clip because we have some now. Yay! Yay! Okay, here's one. Here's one of the ones we made the other day. This was the collage of rectangles and squares and sharp lines. So we have this, I'm going to put this on here, and then I'm going to find a pretty little page to place this upon. Okie dokie, here, where are you? Oh, and the other alternative, I didn't, I didn't share this, but this was kind of like the world of obviousness. You could tuck it into a big pocket, like this is a big pocket. This whole thing could be tucked in there. Oh, that's actually really pretty, isn't it? I, like, I kind of like that, maybe we'll do that. And maybe I'll leave it with the, well, the hello has to go that way. We'll put it at the top, there we go. Oh, I'll put it this way because I want the flap to show. Okay, so you could hide that in an envelope wouldn't that, or in a pocket. Wouldn't that be cute? That would be so cute. Or you could, just for showing purposes here, um, the right page. That would be pretty. But it has to be on the, the right side because we need it. We need it on the right side. We need it on the right side. So that would be pretty too. Oh, there you go. That's super pretty on the coffee dyed page. And it could do that and just peek out a little bit. Isn't that great? I don't know. I just think they're a lot of fun. I hope you have fun with it. If you don't know, I have a free monthly email newsletter. There, I'll give you that baby to look at for a while and go blind. Um, if you can't find the drop down a description box where all the clickable links are, grab this big link at the bottom and just use that one. It should have links to everything. And um, But if you can't, do that, then here are the individual links. For my newsletter, uh, you get a free digital Im image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and a um, page list of ideas. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, new audio material, and then the other days of the week, you're going to have video podcasts up on Spotify you can watch anytime you like. Um, I have an Etsy shop where you can find printable digikits like the butterfly number two, or there's over 200 now to pick from. I also have fundles on print and mail 
Uh, fundals are collections of old and interesting papers for you to use in your junk journals, 100 plus pieces in every pack, and I ship those out to you, free priority mail shipping. And um, I have a print and mail service. If you don't like to print your digikits out, I will print up to 10 for you on nice lightweight cardstock. You just send me the names. I only need the first two or three words. Send it to um, Etsy message, which is the easiest way, or to my email address, pam at thepaperoutpost.com. And I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. I put links in there so, so you can find things easily in my favorite tools and supplies section. Um, this does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items by using this link. So everybody, uh, thank you for using those links. I have a t-shirt shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. Hey, uh, you can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, mug, tote, or water bottle, um, or zip tootie. Yep. And... Um, you can find me on Pinterest, 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 Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. We have a Facebook group doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. And um, you can just freeze frame this if, if you missed it. And um, take a photo of it. Um, remember, most of all, fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.